hello so here's the hi sister second episode of renee's remedies and this is going to be short oh lord because i'm trying to watch allison birds um unconference so this isn't going to be very long especially depending on who the next speaker is um so today's i just wanted to say the main key to my hi tm um hi shanda renee hi trey um hi tyranny so the main key to my success, and it's actually really simple, is follow through. Hi, Ayana. Thank you so much. Didn't we have a blast last night? For those that missed last night, it is still available for replay. I don't think I'm going to I'm, I'm put it on my YouTube. Um, I'll think about it, but it is still available for replay. Hi, DJ Meddy. Um, so check it out. We had a ball last night, a ball. So um, as I said, Renee's Remedies, which will be every day. I think that the time will be 7 o'clock Central Time, so that's 8 o'clock eight o'clock Eastern and 5 o'clock Pacific. Um, oh, with your sister, and Halger, is that your name? Hi. Um, so that's what time we'll have them on a daily basis, Renee's Remedies. But today's Re Renee's Remedies is all about follow-through. Please, please, please follow through. And when I say follow through, I'm talking about when you go to these events and you meet all these people and you get all these business cards, um, whether they're paper cards or, you know, um, now they have digital business cards, whatever, follow through. You know, some people think that um, they think that, you know, people are just saying call me or just saying email me. Well, if you don't really do it, you never know if they respond. But if you don't do it, you do that the answer and it's just you know but if you do then you see okay well maybe they don't respond or maybe they do and then the other big thing is when you follow through if someone doesn't respond in what you believe to be a appropriate amount of time don't write it off as they weren't interested think positively think about oh they must be really busy and hit them up again because what do you have to lose at the end of the day I told you last night I can take it, it, two answers, yes or no. And if it's a no, I will figure out how to get the yes. And if it's a yes, great, you know. But, um, and I told you also that if it's a no, I'll figure out how to get the yes and make you look really stupid for not giving me the yes in the first place <laughs> because that's just the way I work. But um, it's really, really, really important that you follow through. Case in point, I met a producer um, from a very big network and she was really nice and we spoke and actually we had connected on LinkedIn and but prior to me meeting her in person we had connected on LinkedIn she remembered and we were she was really nice she said definitely email me so I emailed her it took her a minute but she emailed me back and she said she was really busy and she wanted to try and connect emailed her again it took her a while but she emailed me back was like I've been so busy so then I honestly I'm sure it would have came back on my radar because what happens to me is like every once or one or two weeks, every once, wait, yeah, one or once a week or every one, every other week, maybe I actually go through my emails and I look to see and then I pay attention and I'll see, OK, I'll see a person's name and I'll remember the last conversation I had with them and then I'll follow back with them if I have to. So I would have probably hit her up probably this week, but she emailed me. And apologize for taking so long to get back to me. And it was this five paragraph email and she wants to meet this week. And for most of you that know, I am working on my own talk show. And so for a producer to want, and a producer and developer of shows to want to speak to me, that was good. So that's why it's so important. And honestly, I never, I never think in the negative. Yes, new joiners, please share. Walking in the light, I hope we didn't keep you up too late last night. Um... But yes, uh, and thank you for all the hearts. I do appreciate the hearts. Please, please share this with everyone. Thank you, Shanda Renee. Um, so it's really important that you follow up. And when I say follow up, let me tell you, Trey and I met at the National Association of Black Female and Executives and Music Entertainment Conference, NABFEM is the acronym. And we met there in 2005. Well, the conference was in Chicago. I live in Chicago. Excuse me. And so I went to the conference and at night I'd come back home. And um, the hashtag for this is Renee's Remedies, and I am the Periscope Doc. That is my, my new title, and so we're going to um, use that hashtag as well these days, too. Um, so I would come home after the conference days, and I'd have all these cards, and I'd actually email people right then.
So I, there was no way they were going to forget about me. And I must say, for my entree into the entertainment business, that conference really was it. And there are people from that conference like Trey that I still have contact with to this very day, to this very day. Um, the person that actually named me Dr. Renee, and I actually showed her book last night. That was the, um, and I'm going to get it because I should get it. Uh. Um, Karen Taylor Bass, this is her book. She's the one that named me Dr. Renee. I already had my medical degree, but I was at an entertainment conference. So why would I tell them that I did medicine? You know, that just, hi, Julie. It just seemed, it just seemed pointless to me. Like it didn't seem like it fit. So I never said that. And I ended up spending the entire weekend with her, um, her and her team, um, her assistant was with her and I got really cool with her. So I shared with her that I was a doctor and she said, what? She said, oh, from now on, you are Dr. Renee. And that is when it started, and it has stuck, and that's my brand. Um, and I'm so grateful to her for it. And when I make the big bucks, I'm telling you, I will probably have to cut her a check or make her a, part, a huge part of the team um, because it really has opened Doors have flown open because I call and I say, this is Dr. Renee. And I don't say, you know, when I leave messages, I wouldn't, this is when we had gatekeepers. I wouldn't necessarily say why I was calling. So, you know, you say doctor, people don't ask questions because they think it might be private or something, you know, so it worked. It really worked. And I thank her so much for it. And she knows I am so grateful. Um, but I was, you know, immediately followed up. I mean, I, you weren't going to forget me. So the next day, if you had checked your email, you already had got one from me and you, they said something to me. So I, I mean, it's a, people think I'm insane, but it works. It works. And I have had so many people compliment me on my follow through. Like I, I just, I don't let things fall through the cracks. Um, and you know, people use these CRS, it's a CRS customer. Somebody help me. CRS, right? CMS, right? Somebody help me, but I don't use those. I, you know, I was going to use one a couple years ago. I was introduced to those and CRM. See, I knew TM shine. Thank you. Somebody had my back. Um, I knew that, um, I, I was introduced to them a couple years ago and I was like, Oh, I'll try this, but I really don't need those. I, I just really, as long as I have my email inbox, I'm good. Um, the other thing I will tell you that I use, thank you, Carmen. The other thing that I use is, uh, Evernote. I think Evernote is amazing because I have clients and I have my own stuff. I need to keep it all together and I do not need to drop any balls for anybody, you know, myself included. I, and I, and anyone that works with me knows I do not drop balls. I keep everything afloat. And, um, so I don't forget, I make sure I, you know, call whomever needed to be called when they needed to be called. And I email, although Alicia Nicole, I did not call the people to get the recording of your video. I called and he was out and I didn't call back. That will be top of my list tomorrow. <laughs> so I failed my poor sister. <laughs> but I um, follow through has really been the biggest thing with me is that, you know, I'm one of those people that is friends with people from ninth grade, from kindergarten because because of my follow through. And I follow up and I keep, you know, and I mean, I'm not talking, I talk to these people every day, but I follow through enough so that when you see me, you don't forget who I am. And if I, you know, if I, if I can help you, I'm going to help you, especially with social media. We don't even have to talk and I can help you and you'll see that I'm helping you so that when it comes something that I may need, you might be able to there, be there to help me. So I don't do things to get something in return because God knows my, my bank account, if you ask my sister, is completely empty because of all of the stuff that I have done for others. But, oh yes, my sister's is not a pest though. Exactly. I don't, I'm, you know, I'm persistent with a purpose and I'm strategic in it in such a way that it's not annoying or it's really just like, oh, I almost forgot about her and I pop back into their memory because I, I hit them up or something. So, um, you know, it's, I just read an article today about how do you network? And it talked about how um, people have to read people persistent with a purpose. Exactly, Ayana. And um, people have to read people and you have to pay attention and you have to see like, is that person really, you know, are they annoyed by you or are they, um, are they okay? You know, are they just, what's the word? 